Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 120. What I want to do today is finish our speedometer. We've got the outside done. Now what I want to do is replicate what we have down below and get this little indicator to show up in here. And let me show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, yeah, I don't need to move it, I just need to highlight it. Highlight this chart and then let's go to the design menu and select some more data. We're going to add some data to the chart. I will name the series inner just to make it easier for us to keep track of it. Series values, we'll do these four. And when I hit enter, click OK. OK, and uh, we've we got a little work to do. Just so you can kind of see what's going on, um, let's look at this piece right here and let's right click and format data series you'll see that I've already gone through and played with this and changed the rotation to 270 degrees. If I hadn't, let me just show you what it looks like. Let's move this out of the way. I don't even need to close it. See how the 180 now is over here and what I, this 180 degrees that we're going to leave blank in the pie chart is way over here. So what we need to do is move it back to 270. So now we've got everything pointing the right direction. At least we, it's oriented the right way. How's that? They're both, uh, we've got uh, this this little four here where the data label is, and we're going to get rid of that. This is the slice that's our needle. That's our little indicator on uh, our speedometer. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to right click, and we're going to change tart type. I say I don't want a donut anymore. I want a pie. So when we change it to a pie, ah. Uh, this series. And it's worth showing you that because that's going to be important as we go through. Make sure I got the right one. Change that series from a donut a little bit further to a pie. See now I've got this goofy looking thing going on here um, where this is now a pie and my my uh, four, remember four is the size of my needle. My needle's pointing way over here so I've got a few things to do. Let's fix it a step at a time. Let's right click and you can see when I right click, see how over here it's highlighting outer and labels. I, I didn't get what I want so I'm going to click inside here and right click and now see Excel's highlighting what it's charting there. That's what I want to do. We're going to format the data series. I lost my rotation so I'll put it back. No big deal. 270 degrees. The fill, I'm going to do no fill on everything. And what that's going to do is it's going to orient everything right. I'm almost done. The, the trick I've got to do is I've got to click right in there so that I'm just highlighting the four. And what I want to do with that is let's go to layout, oh, excuse me, format and shape fill. And we're going to make the indicator four, my little needle four there. So I'm almost done. I just got to get rid of these data labels and we're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to layout, data labels, and turn it off for the selection. Oh, you know, I just had, let me sh uh, see if I can explain what happened. I only had the four selected. So when I said turn data labels off, it just turned it off for the four. So I'm going to go click inside my pie. Now I'm going to go to data labels and turn them all off. I'm going to click outside. And sure enough, we have low, medium, and high. If we change this percentage to 77%, it's going to jump over there. If we go to 5%, the needle goes over there. If we go back to 45 we have a speedometer that's going to work for us. We've got low, medium, and high. We've got the needle point in the right direction. We've cleared out the fill on all the other sections of the pie and all the other sections of the donut, this bottom half of the donut. So we're just looking at what we want to. We've got a speedometer to work. This may be worth watching more than once. I, it's, it's, it's pretty complicated. It, you know, It's not critical to have on your dashboard, but if you want something a little bit whiz-bang and cool looking where you've got to change one number and everything moves, it's a cool thing to add to your dashboard. I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.